I was like, wow, did I actually do that? And I look at my head and I'm like, yeah, you actually did that. Um, no, I don't want to collab. No, unless I hit you up. Wait, let me do that little, what's that thing? How y'all doing? <laughs> Alrighty, hey guys, what's up and welcome back. And in advance, I do wanna, no, actually I'm not gonna apologize because accept me for who I am. Um, I was planning to come back with my hair all done and makeup done and cute, but a big reveal in the intro of this video, but for what? I don't want to, I don't feel like it, so you, you get what you get. This is four day old hair that needs to be rewashed and I did not style this morning. I sprayed some water, I did like this, and I kept it pushing. But, hi, I'm bald. <laughs> okay, wait, let me do the formal intro. So, hey guys, what's up and welcome back. If you are not new, this is Adira. Uh, yes, okay, so we're done with the dramatics. I cut off my hair. That's just what it is. So obviously I know people are gonna be shocked. I know my friends were really surprised and my boyfriend is just at this point so used to me changing my hair specifically that he was just like, whatever, I don't care. Um, but my mom and my best friend were not happy with me. Anyway, um, let's just very quickly, because I'm not going to do the video where you have to wait to the end of the video to get like the whys and the information. I'm just going to flat out tell you my two main reasons why I cut my hair off and then show you like the whole process because I did document it. And yeah, so as you guys know, um, over the past six-ish months, I have just been in this weird place with my hair. Um, and before anyone asks, it has nothing to do with the color. I wasn't experiencing color damage or anything like that. My hair actually was extremely healthy considering that I bleached it and colored it um, a little less than a year ago. But essentially, um, just over time, I just did not feel like doing my hair. I wasn't happy with the shape. You guys know I cut my hair to try to reshape it. That probably was like, the down like from that moment on it was a downward spiral because i did not like that haircut um i missed the length that i had i really think that maybe i would be in a different place if i would not have ever cut my hair back then to attempt that shape um but i did and i didn't like it so because of that i kept blowing out my hair straightening my hair and applying a lot of heat to my hair so that i could see my length um i was doing it in a pretty okay way um, so I wasn't experiencing uh, experiencing any crazy damage from that, but then the move happened. Me planning to move across the country. I obviously will plug my vlogs um, for that process above. It's a three-part series just kind of documenting me moving across the country. Um, and so with all of the stress and just mental energy and time that went into the move my hair really suffered because I already wasn't really feeling my hair so I definitely wasn't spending the right amount of time on my hair so I straightened my hair so much in the second half of 2021 it was ridiculous and I really didn't get any heat damage from that but my hair was starting to get a little bit thin at the end so I would I was trimming a lot more I was maintaining it very well again not damaged from like color or anything like that. I was just neglecting my hair. And if you know me, if you've been here for years over years, I this is my third big chop and I had an undercut and I had shaved sides. And like, I have no problem with cutting my hair. Short hair is actually kind of like my, it's like my heart. I really wanted to go like full TWA, like short, so that I could just like have it right here and just curl it up every day. But, there's reasons why I decided to keep the top kind of long and it's not in a specific style. This is all for a reason. I'll get to that. But ultimately, I was neglecting my hair. I was not giving her the love and attention that she deserved. So life lesson, if you can't treat them right, let them go. <laughs> but seriously, that's essentially what I was like. I was like, I'm not doing what I want, what I need to be doing to my hair. I don't want to do what I need to be doing to my hair. So maybe I should just go short until I kind of get that back so that's reason one reason two which 
at least to my YouTube community, is going to come as a shock. And it makes me cringe a little bit because if you guys are familiar with my personality, I hate trends. And I didn't know that this was trending when it came to my attention. And then I started doing my research. But for the past three months, I have been strongly considering locking my hair. Um, and yes, my for locks. I'm going to tell you, these two girls right here, they got me. They sucked me in. But um, again, I hate trends. So it kind of makes my stomach hurt to think that because I know a lot of people that are switching over to locked natural hair. But I'm not being influenced by that in any way. Something that you guys should know. My mom, my sister closest to me in age, who's a, she's a year and a half younger than me, and my aunt, they all have sister locks. Um, they have all had them for a really long time. Rajay, don't kill me, but I'm going to put your picture on the screen because your hair is gold. Like, my hair, hair gold. My hair gold is my sister's hair. <laughs> um, it's beautiful, and it's so inspiring. And I've been able to watch her journey over the years, and I'm glad that I probably if I do go this route, be able to lean on her. Um, however, this is something that I'm about 80% sure about. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 80% sure. Um, if I do go that route, I would be looking at micro locks. I likely would be looking at installing them myself. You know, I gotta have that connection with my hair. And I wouldn't be looking to do it until I turned 30. Um, for those who don't know me personally, I am 28, I know. I don't look like it, but I'm 28 years old. Um, this year, 2022, at the end of the year, I will be 29. So that gives me about a year and a half to not only decide, but to get my hair in like really good shape to do that if I decide that I, that's what I wanna do. And since I was neglecting my hair and I'm color treated, um, with my ends being thin like that, that I wouldn't want to go into locking my hair with that. I would want to go into that with the strongest, thickest, healthiest hair that I could possibly have. So reason number two is I would prefer to start over and just like nurture the hell out of my hair to be as healthy as it possibly could be and as thick and full as it possibly could be. Um, so that if, because this is still an if, I decide to lock it, I'm starting with a great foundation. Now, if I get a year down the road, I'm like, you know what, I'm tripping, I don't really want to lock my hair. Guess what? I'm just going to have really thick, healthy, loose hair. <laughs> so I win either way. I'm winning because I don't have to put the same amount of time into my hair. I'm winning because I get to start over a new journey and just have my hair super duper healthy. Um, and then I'm winning because if I decide to lock it, then I'm starting with a good foundation. So really, that's kind of three reasons. But that's where I am. Um, because I did not cut my hair as short as I actually wanted it, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of protective styling. So don't be upset with me, but the natural hair content is not going away. It's just going to be a little bit more limited because I'm probably not really going to hit my hair out that much. Um, it's only been two weeks, I think, or a week and a half. It's only been a week, actually, that my hair has been cut. And I haven't done much to it because, again, I don't feel like it. Um, so I've already washed my wig that's going on this weekend. And over the summer, I'm planning on getting braids, which I haven't had in a long time. Um, I am in the desert, essentially, and I am not used to this type of weather. So I think just having my hair braided in a way um, will help with that a lot. And just... This is where we are, you guys. Oh my God. I'm still kind of like, I don't think I'm in shock anymore, but I think like the, the first and second day afterwards, I was like, wow, did I actually do that? And I look at my head and I'm like, yeah, you actually did that. Um, and I've been wearing it with like a part in the middle and my edges laid real cute, kind of like this geometric looking deal. I went through several phases of chopping it, which you'll see um, later in the video. I tried the wolf cut and then I left this a little bit longer and it was longer on the sides and it was really cute. I got the most compliments when my hair was like that for two days um, and I was out and about grocery shopping. People loved it and I really liked it and I wish I would have kind of stayed there, but I wanted it shorter and so I ended up with this tapered deal. I don't really know what it is, y'all. I'm not a professional. 
I'm not planning to keep it short, so I wasn't really pressed on having it perfect. And I really just wanted the length at the top so that if I still wanted to do sew-ins, I could have a decent amount of leave-in. Um, and it's long enough that if I wanna get braids, I can blow it out and get braids. So this is literally not an aesthetic thing. This is not a specific look. This is convenient. Like it is literally serving a purpose or serving multiple purposes. And that's really it. So not glamorous. Um, I'm not looking for the compliments like, oh, you look cute. Cause I'm looking real crusty and dusty and all types of things today. But I need to get this portion of the video filmed so that I can get it to you guys this weekend. And I'm just coming as I am. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me. I hope you're not too mad, but if you are, it's my head. <laughs> But anyway, um, if you'd like to see me going through all of the many steps and, and emotions of actually doing the cutting process, that's coming up next. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. And as always, don't forget to check and subscribe with yourself before you subscribe to me or anybody else. But if you're good and you're good, you can subscribe to my channel and my bald head as well. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Ba 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 ba